Hello, hello everyone, and uh, good morning once again. What, what's up with these morning videos these days? Um, I, I, honestly, I hoped I'd come with a more positive vid because I feel like uh, the last couple of vids have been quite negative I I in tone, mostly because, well, Wargaming aren't exactly doing themselves to their company image and so forth any favors with their Q&A and squeezing into submarines and then the entire Missouri shitstorm, like uh, the funnel bugs. There, there's just too many things that they have going on, too many broken things, them not fixing the torpedo bug. It's been a lot of negative news, like in a row now, and uh, I'd really like to come up with some positive news. But today's news is the fact that basically, well, all their biggest CCs are leaving their program. If community contributors, the guys that are supposed to like, uh, well, provide the community with contributions or whatever. I mean, that that, that term is a bit loose because I felt I've provided more community contributions since I left the program. Or uh, sorry, since I was kicked from the program, not left. But um, the news, of course, is that LVM has left the program, Little White Mouse. And uh, to follow that up, iChase Gaming also left the program, and apparently both Jingles and Flambas are also going to be leaving the program. Uh, those are those two are still not confirmed, but that's basically what's on the, on the grapevine. So the CC program is basically kind of collapsing, and, well, not exactly surprising, considering how that company treats I, I, I was a CC for many, many years, and uh, there was a reason why I celebrated no longer being part of that program. And I guess people are starting to get a, get a grasp, get an idea of just what kind of, what kind of a company it is, and how they actually treat their CCs, and why it simply isn't very enjoyable to be part of that program, even though it's supposed to be a very positive experience. It, with with the company culture that Wargaming has, it very much is not. What we should start off with, Little White Mouse. For those that aren't aware, Little White Mouse is basically... Uh, I don't think there's anyone who doesn't respect Little White Mouse as a CC. In fact, if you have a company, if you have any sort of gaming company, Little White Mouse is the kind of CC you wish you had. She's the one who has an incredible love and passion for the game. She reviews basically every single ship out there. She meticu meticulously tests everything related to game. Like, I, I often joke that Little White Mouse is Wargaming's quality assurance department because clearly they don't have one themselves. Uh, and she's basically taken over that role. So, that, that's that's kind of what I, what I joke and that's kind of what it feels like because she's the one, she, she basically turning circles for all the ships. She's the one who corrected them all because uh, then the values that you had in port were wrong. But she went into training rooms and she, she sailed every single ship around in circles and measured their, their turning circles. And basically she she's the one CC whose reviews I read because she does so much research into everything she does and it's extremely hard to dislike her in any way because she's very much positive, civilized, just a nice human being who's incredibly passionate about the game. So the fact that Wargaming has actually managed to drive her out of their program is... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to laugh, but... <laughs> Holy shit, how dumb can you be? Like, how much of a disa PR disaster can you make for yourself to drive that kind of person out of your program? That's basically, she's do she's do she exemplifies what being a CC is, and they manage to drive her out of the program. Which, which I find just absolutely hilarious. Uh, the game in the background, it's old uh, Pomern secondaries, by the way. I never got around to featuring it, that this is celebration to old secondaries. Another thing that's being dumb right now. But uh, we're not going to get into that. For those who aren't really aware of the little white mouse thing, uh, basically, well, she's been, obviously she's been lied and gaslit to by Wargaming plenty of times in the past, but one of the really big tipping points that really soured her relationship with, with the company was that uh, she and Choby was asked to design a, a ship a, for Wargaming, and they worked on this for like over a year. They put in a lot of effort, a ton of work into it, and... Uh, Wargaming kind of just ignored it. They, they, they ignored it and pretended it, they were lying, pretended it didn't happen. And then when they finally provided evidence and they finally brought it out to the public, only then did Wargaming backpedal and, and start apologizing. Uh, but 
they still weren't willing to implement any of the work that she put in. And I mean, th th this is probably pretty common to you guys because I, this is this has always been my experience with with war gaming as well. Is you bring up something they ignore it, you bring up something they ignore it, you give them feedback, they say we don't like your feedback, and then you make a video about it. You make a public video about the about the subject matter, and it blows up. And then Wargaming is like, oh shit! I guess we have to do something about that. The Wargaming never does anything out of their goodwill or because they want to help the community or because they respect their player base. They do something because it blows up in their face, and they're forced to do something. And this was kind of the case with the whole Yukon Yukon uh, debacle, of course. So, if, of course, Wargaming they cited. <laughs> miscommunication issues uh classic communication issues of course and how they were gonna do it again and how they were gonna fix it and so forth but at this point i mean little white mouse is used to being treated like a mushroom uh, kept in the dark and being fed shit but uh, so she actually wanted them to do something tangible and that was to use the camo that they spent all this time developing for the ship that they were supposed to develop like basically use a per percentage of all this work that they did and just implement the camo into the game and now, some people said this was wow wow how can she how can she demand a camo or something like that no no the, the, the point isn't the camo the point is that this is wargaming actually having to do something to mend the relationship that's the point, because Wargaming hands out apologies and excuses like they hand out candy. It's, oh, we sorry we didn't mean, oh, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna be much better, oh, we've heard this 50,000 times. No one trusts this company anymore, there is zero trust between the player base and the company, and I know CCs don't trust this company at all, despite what they're, they're not really allowed to talk about. Because I've been there, I didn't trust anything they said. So, obviously, she wanted them to add this uh, Sackwell camo to, to the Yukon, uh, and of course Wargaming refused. It was too much for them. They had to do something tangible. They couldn't. There was something they actually had to do. They couldn't just type a nice message to say, "Oh, we're sorry. We're not going to do it again." And oh, miscommunication. But they actually had to do something to repair the relationship. And this was just too much for them. Uh, and of course, apparently, they also apparently when they talked, she talked about this on. Uh, the Wargaming Discord, apparently a Wargaming employee decided to contradict her, belittle her, and ignore the evidence she was providing, uh, all the while barking at uh, me to show them respect. This is them communicating better. It's completely unacceptable, we're just an isolated incident. So, and then finally, uh, it took them almost an hour to apologize and admit they were wrong in this case, but only after other CCs had to dogpile onto the situation. This sounds like wargaming. This sounds like wargaming. You are wrong and you are misinformed right until it blows up in their face and then they realize, ah shit, now we have to apologize. So this was the final straw that kind of broke the camel's back in this case. And of course, uh, in this case, I mean, it's it's probably going to be Lil White Mouse's word against Wargaming's word, but <laughs> between those two, like, it's, it's not even a contest. Hello? Like, I don't trust... I don't trust Wargaming as far as I can throw them, whereas Lil White Mouse is probably the only CC whose reviews I've actually read throughout the years. The only other CC whose content I follow because it's interesting and because it's detailed and because she doesn't ever come across as the kind of person that would lie. So, obviously this has repercussions though. Managing to alienate her and managing to get her out of the program, which is very impressive getting someone who actually loves your game as much as she does getting them out of the program is already like Impressive. I, I, I don't even understand how you managed to fuck that up like well done wargaming your PR disasters Apparently have no bottom. I thought you dug all the way to the bottom, but you're just continuing digging I don't know you got a diamond tip on your drill or something so that's that also meant that I chase decided he posted a vid today. He's out as well He was like he he cited once again. Well the classic uh, wargaming treats everyone like shit They ignore all the feedback and uh, the communication is junk and Well, of course all the feedback especially like Missouri was very sore point for a lot of CZ's because uh, Well <laughs> the way it's being presented is scummy as shit. I mean you saw my vid on it It's hilariously scummy the way they're doing war uh, war doing Missouri celebrating victory in Japan day by forcing you to gamble on the blue loot boxes loot boxes it's it's treating the led the player base like walking wallets so 
Uh, oh, he's bailing, and uh, apparently Trinlas is gone as well, and Jingles, he left with World of Tanks CC program because of the whole DMCA Sir Fock issue ages ago, um, but now he's apparently leave, leaving the World of Warships uh, section as well, doesn't surprise me, uh, and apparently Flambaz is also leaving it, and who did I not mention? Let's see. We mentioned I chase Jingles, Flambaz, Trinlas, that's, that's the ones that are apparently um, also going to be dropping bids today and going to be bailing on the program. So, this is Wargaming managing to sabotage their own uh, program. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, I guess in a way, I think it's fair because we have had to endure a shitty fucking CV rework, a shitty commander rework, and now Wargaming gets to enjoy a CC rework. So maybe there is actually some fairness, some justice in the world. <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of the evening and uh, have a great rest of the day watching uh, this house of shit cards collapse. Because that's going to be pretty, pretty entertaining.